Americans in more than 500 cities took part in the March for Our Lives rally today, pushing for an end to gun violence. In Washington, D.C., tens of thousands of people descended on the National Mall. Speaker after speaker calling on senators to take action, sparked by the recent mass shootings in Uvalde, Buffalo, and elsewhere. And here in San Diego, a large crowd marched near the county administration building. Fox 5's Claire Benitez gives us a look at that, plus a message from a local congressman. An assault rifle on one side and children on the other. Asking, which side are you on? Today we're calling on our elected leaders to listen, to act, and to make changes that the majority of Americans want, regardless of their party. Hundreds of San Diegans rallied in March to demand an end to gun violence in front of the county administration building. Congressman Scott Peters addressing the crowd. I'm with you on banning assault weapons, ghost guns, and large capacity magazines. The rally and march, a part of a nationwide movement. In Washington, D.C., March for Our Lives is having a humongous rally, and they organized marches all over the country on the same day to demand that our government pass, finally pass sensible gun regulation so we can keep our, our people safe. After several recent mass shootings in the last few weeks, San Diegans are saying enough. We, we've been voicing this since Sandy Hook and before that, Virginia Tech, Columbine even, and nothing, nothing, nothing has been done. Now taking action by rallying and marching for sensible gun laws. The federal government has the tools, has the ability to vote for sensible gun legislation and put a stop to this full stop. Um, and they just haven't done it yet. And so we, we are totally tired of waiting and we are taking action. Reporting along the Embarcadero, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News.